Good day guys, once again this is Malco, once again back with another video that I hope you guys might find it interesting. Okay, so you probably own a Huawei phone and then you tried upgrading the firmware that you downloaded from third parties. You say that the firmware is damaged or you installed the wrong firmware and then you get such an error and then your phone is officially bricked you cannot get past all this you can you can try to do one of these things but you keep on failing right so you can try to hold the volume up key as shown here hold it for three seconds right holding it holding it and then after three seconds this should appear your device is booting now right after that you it will take you straight 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 to e-recovery so once you're in e-recovery uh, you try and connect to your Wi-Fi here and then you're supposed to ideally obtain the recovery package and then install it and then your phone is back to its old self right but most of us get this error which says get package info failed so when you get such an error it means that we have to try other methods you can retry it even thousand times you will never get passed through this because your phone has not yet been has not yet been registered for e-recovery so once we let go of that that's when we come to the method of downloading your firmware right so you probably know how your phone is like right you probably know the the, the version and the mod and all that right so given such a thing you have uh, your Huawei Mate 10 Lite which was the one which I had and you know the version whether is it 21 is it 03 is it whatsoever right so you come to this website which i will leave the link below right so in this website you'll find the best firmware that suits you so assuming that your phone was android version 7 and then you wanted to upgrade to android version 8 that's when you got the error download android version 7 okay just to get your phone back to normal because right now you actually desperate what you just need is your phone to be functional you don't really care about the latest android version whatsoever so what you do is uh if it was android version 8 and then you are experiencing errors you want to go back to version 7 take back that android version 8 right so i'm just gonna download one of the firmware here so it depends you look at your country code this is 33 3, this is 781 whether it's central africa or whatsoever uh you look at the model number which might be p330 p331 p142 and all that and then you confirm this part which is also important because if you install this part it will you will get uh, an error message an error message such as this one which says software install failed because you are installing something which is not compatible with your device so for me i was using this version so i will just click on it so firmwares most are third party most third parties they 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 sell it like most third parties websites they are they have it for sale so you wait for the download link to generate and here it is graph generated then you just click on download so this is the only on the website that you'll get firmware for free so the roms are all for free so that's when you certify that you're not a robot then you download so you have your download manager here i'm using extreme download manager and then you just download your firmware so you just have to wait up until the 5.4 gig has been downloaded so after that what you do is uh you prepare your sd card right your format it's right so you just take an sd card you might take a 16 gig 8 gig depending on the size of the firmware so just make sure that the firmware is able to fit in that so what you do is you format it you format it in this form ex fat then quick format then you start format so after being done with all the formatting you click on start and it asks you that are you really sure that you want to format this sd card then you click on yes and after doing that your card is ready that's when we go back to look at the software which we downloaded okay so the software which i downloaded right now is this one the may 10 light whatsoever it's about six gig you right click on it then you extract files to this and here it is it has already been extracted you open it so it comes with this part which is not really important software parts 
dlord sd update apart and all that so all of those ones some of them you use them when you're using a flash tool which is using your pc but nevertheless isn't it we're showing you how to do this without your pc so you come with sd update package which you also have to extract you extract it over there because when you get this so you copy this thing which is written dlord this whole thing which contains two things update and that so it only confer or, or it only contains these two right so you copy it and then you copy it all the way back to your sd card okay i'm sure we together all the way up there so once you copy it there you just refresh the sd card you just refresh it you just refresh it you just refresh it and then you you actually eject it then you insert the sd card into your phone your mobile device depending on how you put it and all that and all that and all that and all that now that your phone has been powered off now what we want to do is we want to install firmware from our sd card so this is what we'll do so you press the volume up the volume down and the power key at the same time that is if maybe using phones from 2017 going below but if you're using phones from above you just press volume up and the power button so as soon as you are pressing all this and you see the Huawei logo appearing you let go of the power button but you do not let go of these two buttons or one of these buttons so you just keep them pressed so you will be stuck on the Huawei logo for quite some time maybe a few seconds or so because they would still want to be sure that are you sure you want to enter the installing mode right so with that all being said with that all being done it will actually enter the install mode where it will start by verifying the package for something about five percent and since you downloaded firmware that is up to date you then starts installing so it will install all the firmware all the firmware all the firmware all the way up until everything is done and up until your phone has been installed so guys if you really like my video don't forget to share don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe this is malcolm at malcolm tech thank you